Welcome to Sheboygan, a year-round angler's paradise on the northeast edge of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. Today, we'll explore the frozen surface of Mullet Lake in search of perch, walleye, cisco, and just maybe one big monster to top it off. Hey, Captain Andrew Hendrickson here with North Star Fishing Adventures. Uh, doing a little ice fishing. Um, season closes tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna try and catch some jumbo perch. And uh, what a good way to catch these jumbo perch would be just uh, setting some tip ups out around your area. I'm just gonna grab a blue minnow here. Um, that's the kind of a nickname for it. It's actually an emerald shiner. I'm gonna pin them. The dorsal fin, the rear dorsal fin's right there. I'm gonna pin them just behind it, okay? Not too deep that I hit him in the spine. If I were to hook him dead square in the middle, he's just gonna sit down there and hang out because he's horizontal, right? When I tip him down like that, he's gonna fight and try and straighten out because he wants to be horizontal all the time. So it's gonna be keeping that, that bait constantly swimming, trying to straighten itself out. I'm gonna pick that bobber right up to there. So that's my mark. I'll drop my tip up down, get it seated. Boom, we're fishing. We're just waiting for that to go up. Fish on, that's how it works. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that dog. Yeah. Awesome yeah. job, man. Thanks. Beautiful. Perchy? Big perch. Nice. Yeah, so I was just bouncing it off the bottom and then uh, he started following me up and then he stopped and I kind of just gave it a couple more twitches and he pulled right on it, so. All right. Cool. Woo! On the board. That is a moonshine purple goby. It glows on that side and then that's a holographic eye on that side. Oh. Whoa, look at this one. That right there. That's Mullet Lake and Burt Lake. I'll take that fish and run him back. And right there. I'm gonna dump this in the bucket. We'll see you at the next flag. Oh yeah. If this is a perch, it's a dandy. It's a perch. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. This right here is exactly why you come. The Mullet Lake, Burt Lake, right here. This place is awesome. It's stupid. That's gonna make a mess if I hand over hand it. Well, screw it. Hand over hand that. Hand that over hand out of 60 feet of water. All right, now we're fishing like uh, our forefathers. And. Good job. Yeah, oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Show that off. All right. That's what you do when, that's what you do when you get a tangled tip, you <laughs> hand over hand it. So what we did today, oftentimes out in this deeper water, we'll get a longer bite. We got a big 40 foot flat, drops off down to 60 and then it's 100 and something out here. And a lot of times they'll sit on this shelf. They don't really want to go out in 100. They don't really want to be up in that 40. So they kind of pick this middle. There's about a couple mile uh, long yeah, we've Little seen flat. fish this morning. I mean, that's the right. first one we coaxed into bite, and well, great job. Yep. Hey, we'll be right back with you, and hopefully more walleye, more perch, and more guys will get involved as these fish show up. 
This, this camera guy's getting them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. The camera guy's jigging and he gets the walleye. The camera guy always gets them. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like a trophy tool to be. <laughs> Another one. He came in hard. Oh, he came undone. Oh, no. Got in your slip bobber, too. Yeah, maybe he's I on think, me. I think he may have bit that one because I didn't have your line. Fish on. Oh, boy. Nothing but a treble and a split shot because they're so freaking, they come and look at you and then they won't bite. I've had five go off on mine and I just spit it right back out. All right, you might need to help. You need help landing? So we were doing some walleye fishing here and the fish are in an exceptionally negative mood and uh, just could not get them to go. They'll come in, look, come in, look, come in, look, and just, uh, will not bite so we went down to bluegill tactics on their rear ends and uh i tell you what we did that about 10 minutes ago yeah and that and bite that two fish we've had two fish already so a so, single a single little uh split shot along with a what a number 12 or 14. oh it's a big old one hold the head thing up now those things are really good smoked when they're coming cold Excellent water smoke. like this Yep, slip bobber with a tiny treble and a split shot. Set them tip ups and let you man these lines while I'm doing that. Set the tip ups with super small minnows just like these. I think we're gonna leave. He's coming. No monster. Fish on. That's a good sign. Tulabee. Woohoo! Who's the bee? Or Cisco. Big one. Big one. Tell you what, those are fighting things, ain't they? Back up, exactly. <gasps> Hang on, I gotta get this fish. Last time we uh, we we were here, it was like crazy. He'd, he'd take it down, but he wasn't hooked. Oh, nice fish! Good job. Show that one off. That's a nice one. Beautiful fish. Yep. Letting these fish just take it. We're setting the rigs just one very close to the bottom, and another one maybe a foot and a half, two foot up from that. Uh, you can see the gap. That one minnow is right down at the water line, and this one, you know, is in his hand, so maybe even a three foot gap. And what we've got is a big spread of tip ups all over just an underwater flat that's on, that comes to a point. And uh, we're setting up a little early. It's mid afternoon. We're hoping for a really good night bite. So, for more fish like this, he's going home. <laughs> Somebody's eating him. Going for the grease. Right? We're releasing him to the grease. That's right. Was that fish on the top hook? Yeah. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Yeah. <laughs> this little sucker had plagued us a couple to two, three times. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Look at that. He took the top bait. Look at those. Those are beautiful perch, man. Bandits. It all changed. So this is just a nice little average sized one, but plenty, plenty good enough to clean and eat. And we're working our way. We're midday right now, so 3, 3.15 in the afternoon. The bite's nowhere even started yet, but we're picking these bad boys off. Beautiful fish. Gives you some perspective, you know. Got three of them. We're working on a better lemon. Nice and easy, though. Keep it, keep it tight. <laughs> he was running big time with it. Wow. <laughs> get in there, get in there. Yeah, we'll show that one off. And that right there is what both Cody and Andrew chase up here in the uh, Burton Mullet Lakes area. Whoa, he's got one maybe on the jig rod too, so we'll stand here. And, and, uh, and what we're doing is we're just running all over the place as flags go up. And for the last two hours, they haven't been committing. They've just been taking it, tripping the flag, running a few feet, stopping. Well, that one took it really, really well and didn't stop. It's an Eda. Oh. Hey, there we go. Look at that. There you go. And that's what we're talking about, right? And you, you mentioned that, Andrew, about jigging next to a hot hole. Yes. Talk about that for a second. All right. I love jigging hot holes. Um, so it, you, say you set your spread of tip-ups, and you've got uh, one of them starts going off. So what we did, there's another flag up right over there. Um, so that's the tip-up for the hole, and we're fishing tip-up hole. If, the, if it keeps on going off, so we drill the jigging hole right here next to it, because when the tip-up goes off, you know there's perch there. So you come over the jigging rod, your backslider, and boom, boom, boom. Sometimes you can pull multiple fish instead of just pulling one fish for that tip-up. Is that ours? No idea. <laughs> he must have been chilling in our hole this whole time. Oh, he's way out. Get him. Oh, yep. Yep, got Little him. guy, little guy. Oh, wait, he's getting bigger now. Are you getting bigger? Yeah. We like getting bigger. Oh. Not a big one, guys, but plenty good enough to keep and uh, add to the pan. Add to the pan. It's nice little, this is about the smallest you're going to keep, but uh, but he had that hook all the way down his throat. So part of it is conservation. Some fish you have to keep. Uh, there's no real, you know, minimum size on the perch as far as, you know, when you get them this size, you're certainly able to keep them. And when you hook them badly, you should keep them. They should count as your limit. If you let him go, he's just going to die. Starting to pick up though. We've been running back and forth between flags now getting a little later in the afternoon still needs more time waiting for the big girls to show up that's right okay. oh yeah I'm trying not to just throw it all hand over hand and just throw, yeah. Just throw it. Oh, it's another beauty. Yeah. Look at that, boys. Woo! Another one in this beautiful northern Michigan sun. Just a really nice eater-sized perch. You know? These, they're exactly. These aren't the jumbos, but, you know, these are perfect if you're doing what I'm gonna do, which is take them home to my wife, because she said, you're going perch fishing, you will be taking those fish home. Sounds like my wife. <laughs> but, awesome. Well, probably by the time I walk this over to the pile, this flag will go again, it's been that way. Eater. Beautiful color. 
frying pan. Boom, there, you got him. I saw that too. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, look at that. Lip him and show that off. Yeah, get it back down off throw. Really, really nice fish. Got four of them, like five minutes. This is what happens when the sun starts to set. You get set up on these big flats and uh, yeah. Flag behind us. But you come and base yourself Sheboygan area for a fishing trip or a regular vacation. You not only have the waterway Burton mullet, but you have Black Lake, which is a fantastic fishing lake. You have Fletcher's Pond, and Hubbard Lake isn't a very far drive away either. All of these lakes offer fantastic fishing, and you have uh, additional fishing-based resorts. You've got fantastic accommodations in Sheboygan, like the River Terrace, the Best Western, which looks right at the waterway. You've got the Landings Resort, which is right on the waterway. Pontoon George, we call them, has been around forever, and they have on-the-water gas, and they've got fantastic uh, rentals. They, it's a, just a great quick stop, and, and it's just that type of environment that you get when you get into the Sheboygan area. The state of Michigan has done a fantastic job of maintaining the hiking trails, the biking trails, the boat launches, the state parks. The entire package of things to do around this area is so complete that families really have to always look at this area, Sheboygan, as a fantastic place to begin their destination. It's really a fantastic base. This is a big fish, guys. This is a big walleye. Big walleye. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've caught 40 plus inch pike. This is this has way more power than that. I just want a picture and the TV show and we'll let it go. <laughs> Can you get him? Get the other one. Somebody grab him by the snoot. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest size fish and fish Woo! I ever caught. Oh, oh my, look at that, look, look at it. He's look in the it. mouth. Look at, <laughs> All right. look at that. Okay guys, let's, let's get a measurement, there. let's get a good picture and let's release her. So to the guys at home, sturgeon is never in season here so we couldn't help it. We had to catch her, get the hook out clean so she's not injured. We'll take a quick measurement. We'll give you a picture and we'll be have her back in the water. Oh my goodness. Real quick. Thanks for joining us on this exciting ice fishing adventure at Mullet Lake. A big shout out to our guides, Andrew Hendrickson of North Star Fishing Adventures and Cody Sims of Hard Water Adrenaline for their expertise. Special thanks to Sheboygan, Michigan for its incredible fishing opportunities and breathtaking scenery. Remember to cast your line with us again next week for another thrilling episode. Until then, tight lines and happy fishing.